Welcome to Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming. yee Did you know that Grand Teton National Park is home to some of the tallest peaks in the Rocky Mountains? It's often overshadowed by its bigger and more famous next door neighbor, Yellowstone National Park. Grand Teton offers dramatic mountain landscapes that rise sharply from the valley floor, making it a must visit for outdoor lovers. Some travelers to Yellowstone never make it over to visit the Grand Tetons, and that's a shame. Whether you're an avid hiker, a photography enthusiast, or simply someone who loves nature, Grand Teton's majestic vistas and serene environments are sure to inspire you. Join me as we explore the wonders of Grand Teton National Park. Grand Teton National Park offers a variety of campgrounds, but booking less than two weeks in advance left us with one option, Gross Venter, near the park's southern entrance. Despite the lack of shower facilities, the campground pr provides flush toilets, fire pits, and bear-proof food storage lockers. We experienced some scattered thunderstorms during our stay, but overall, it was a great adventure. Little thunderstorm and rain stayed pretty dry so far okay so we just saw a really huge bull moose we've got some great footage of him right through here eating and his friend is right through there i don't know if you can see him but from i mean i, I don't i'm no moose expert but from what i understand it's pretty rare to see two Big bull, big bull moose hanging out together so close together. But uh, yeah, b quite an experience. Huge, beautiful animals, giant antlers. And uh, yeah, it's uh, quite impressive. And oftentimes when you're driving down the highways here at uh, these national parks at Grand Teton, Yellowstone, whatever, when you see a bunch of cars pulled over, it's you know, if you're looking for wildlife, it's a good idea to stop and check it out because we saw the cars got out and walked you know 100 yards from the highway and two giant bull moose down here along this little stream just munching away having a great day beautiful day here in Grand Tetons you should see the mountains behind or behind you they're absolutely gorgeous okay good morning Grand Teton National Park Wyoming and we are at Schwalbacher Landing and we came here for some sunrise photos of the beautiful Grand Tetons um, over this waterway here which I believe was created by beavers damming up water from the, the river nearby and as the sunrise came up it was absolutely stunning now we were not alone so it's not an intimate setting that's for sure by by any means there were a lot of people here we got up really early I got up around I guess five o'clock this morning uh, made a quick cup of coffee had our campsite and uh, drove out we saw three beautiful elk this morning on the long side on the right on side of the road one of them actually crossed the road got some pictures of those last night we saw a couple of really beautiful big bull moose so it's uh, been a pretty exciting um, 18 hours so far in Grand Teton National Park This is the famous Snake River Overlook. So if you look just down below me, you can see a little bit of the Snake River with the beautiful Grand Tetons in the background. And so this, this uh, viewpoint was made very famous by the, by the uh, famous photographer Ansel Adams, who came here in the early part of the 20th century. And he was um, commissioned by the, I believe it was the National Park Service. They wanted uh, to get some images of uh, Grand Tetons out there to get, uh, you know to get it famous to draw people in so those pictures went out and they definitely worked so uh because people will definitely come here to get these beautiful views right here at uh, grand tetons Okay, so here's another one of the beautiful lookout points right along the road here in Grand Teton National Park. This is called Oxbow Bend. So you've got this little, this little waterway here and it just makes a big 
bend right around the corner. A spectacular lookout point. We've got a nice reflection of the mountain with the, um, the glacier on it. And it looks very beautiful. Uh, there's a lot of people here trying to do some wildlife spotting with some binoculars. Supposedly there was a grizzly bear here uh, yesterday evening uh, looking around. We haven't seen it. We've seen some geese and some chipmunks, but uh, that's about it. All right, so here we are, Oxbow Bend. So this is the famous Molten Barn, and this is the most visited and most photographed man-made structure here at Grand Tetons National Park. And it is quite stunning, the rustic barn look with the Tetons in the back, and it's really spectacular at sunrise, the lighting on it. And so this was built in the late 1800s by uh, settlers who uh, followers of the of the Church of uh, Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And they came here to settle this area in this rugged terrain. They built this little community. And, and this section of the park is called Mormon Row. Um, but yeah, so like I said, you know, they came here and, and built these structures in the late 1800s. And, and I don't know what happened. I'm not sure why they left or what happened to their little community. I haven't, uh, I've read quite a bit, but I haven't seen that part. So if anyone knows, let us know in the comments, but yeah, so very spectacular area. The barn just looks so cool with these beautiful mountains in the background. And, uh, we'll get a look at it at sunrise tomorrow and see how spectacular it is. All right, so I came back out to the TA Molten Barn this morning, bright and early, looking for some beautiful sunrise um, images, some sunrise photos to take. And I tell you, we just got sucked in with clouds. The mountains never popped out uh, about an hour ago. Actually, it looked nicer than it does now, but you can't, you can tell you can hardly even see the mountains now. So, you know, you never know what's gonna, what's gonna happen. You get up and try to get some nice images some nice footage and then you know mother nature definitely has a say and and what's going to happen so you know you win some you lose some i guess but uh anyway so great experience still out here in the morning getting up early getting your stuff up and uh you know just got a lot of fog today i thought it was going to burn off but it never did anyway yesterday was a was a fantastic sunrise morning and here at um uh, the Grand Teton National Park, you know, if you're a photographer, you know, everybody likes to take pictures with their phones or whatever. But, um, uh, you know, you generally think about sunrise or sunset as the best time to take pictures. And I would tell you here, from what I've experienced uh, at this park, um, sunrise is definitely better than sunset for the most part. I mean, except today with all this fog. But uh uh, I've been here for two sunsets and they really weren't all that spectacular to be honest with you because kind of where the mountains are positioned when the sun goes down it really just doesn't uh, warm them up very well but um, uh, when you have a nice clear sunrise like we did yesterday it is truly spectacular the sun comes up and hits those mountains and uh, just warms them up get a light, nice glow on them and it's really really beautiful so yeah I would say in general sunrise better for imaging than sunset but today it just wasn't didn't work out for us but anyway we'll try again another time to wrap things up we've showcased the park's breathtaking scenery and the vital role of preserving this natural wonder grand teton national park is far more than just a stunning landscape it's a place where you can truly connect with nature from its towering peaks to its tranquil lakes there's something here for every nature enthusiast Though we only spent two nights here, our plans were interrupted by thunderstorms and cloudy skies, which kept us from exploring Jenny Lake by boat and tackling some hikes. But that just means we'll have to return for a longer stay to fully experience all this incredible national park has to offer. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more adventures in nature. Hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest exploration.